Marketers work under a lot of pressure. Usually, the performance expectations are high, but it's really hard to see any significant or positive impact on the performance targets within one quarter. So, to focus and stay on track in our marketing team, we need to learn to write good OKRs. Usually, a marketing team would say something like, our objective is to increase leads and conversion rate, and then start listing different projects and their key results, like prepare promotional materials or work with designers on the website, then they might also throw in some performance targets, like increase website conversion or increase traffic from social, and a billion other things that they want to do this quarter. The problem with this approach to writing OKRs is that it would result in initiatives overload, meaning that it won't help you focus and it would lead to a very demotivated team. So let's take a step back. The first thing that you need to do before writing your OKRs is take a look at your data. What does it communicate to you? Can you see any significant changes or bad changes over the past few months or over the past few quarters? And before you move on to discussing different solutions that you could apply or you could implement during this quarter, make sure to write down things that you know from your historic experience. What works, what doesn't, because you wouldn't want to go recycling your older projects that didn't work. So, for example, let's say a marketing team discovered that the blog has a low visitor to sign up conversion rate, which means Potential clients are not making decisions when reading articles. At least this is the conclusion that this marketing team has reached through their discussion. Now, the next question is, how can we impact their decision-making process? And let's say that this marketing team has already decided on how they're going to approach it, and they say, we can communicate our expertise and build up our credibility on third-party websites or groups or forums. So let's write an OKR to address that particular focus area. Our objective is to improve our presence on third-party forums or websites or platforms to attract leads with high buying intent. The meaning behind this objective is that we want to leverage platforms where decision makers or our potential clients are discussing pros and cons of different tools and services because we feel we're going to increase leads this way. So the question now to write key results, we need to ask what outcomes do we want to achieve and how can we measure success on an ongoing basis? The first outcome that you might consider with an objective like this is to increase the number of positive brand mentions on web from 3,000 to 6,000 because if we can start engaging discussions on those forums, it would mean that people are actually responding to our messages and the volume of brand mentions would increase. Another outcome to consider would be to increase the number of published reviews from 10 to 50 on the review platform of our choice because that's what we want to do attract leads with high buying intent and third-party reviews can help us increase our credibility. Another outcome that we might want to drive during this quarter is to achieve more than 60 demo requests from discussion forums and groups because generating discussions could be useless if we don't guide our potential clients to the next step of the funnel and also we need to make sure that those demo requests are further qualified as good leads, right? Those people with whom we have demo, or not we, actually the sales team would have demonstrations, meetings. Meeting requests would be useless if we cannot close more deals, so we need to make sure that we are providing good quality leads to our sales team. So in our objective, we have a clear focus area and a problem to solve, and in our key results, we have measurable outcomes that the team, this marketing team, can own and drive you would also probably continue monitoring your key performance indicators like traffic from different sources, a visitor to sign up conversion. But the real value of these OKRs is that they will help you prioritize and decide on which projects you can do first to produce significant impact on the outcomes that you want to achieve this quarter. Make sure to learn how to write good objectives and key results to leverage the benefits of the methodology.